Haley. The girl that ignored me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> From the moment I was around you, I was captivated by your energy. You're down to earth and easygoing. You made me feel relaxed like a breath of fresh air. Your vibe was translucent and aura vibrant. It made me feel at home. Growing up in a Baptist church molded me as the man I am today with men like Jeremiah, leading me, showing me that after God comes family with one core beliefs, being one man and one wife, embellishing an ambience of love that feels almost childish. And what I mean by childish is seeing the pure emotion in these men's faces at moments of interaction. Emotions that aren't shown from these men in any other interactions but with their wives. As we developed our relationship, it didn't take me long to realize you were the one for me. You're so sweet to you where you almost feel innocent, but sharp enough to cut through any challenge your way. The love I have for you is unconditional and cannot be hidden. The joy you give me cannot be covered. No matter who, when, or where, my love for you is bright and can be visually seen from the emotions I evoke in our interactions. With that, I vow to always protect you. I vow to be the man that you need in your life. I vow to always be honest. I vow to be dependable for you. I vow to strive for what's best for the future of our marriage. I vow to always turn to God in times of trouble. I vow to be with you through any challenge in our way. And last but not least, I vow to never lose that childish love that I have for you. Yes. From the very beginning, I knew you were different, but it really stood out just a few short weeks after we first began hanging out. I woke up after one of my many trips to the hospital, and there you were. I remember thinking, who's this guy? And why is he spending his free time in a hospital room waiting on a girl he barely knows? And more importantly, what could he and my mom possibly be talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but I quickly learned that that was just one of the many things that made you you. You have an honest heart, a kind and giving spirit, and as my mom would say, a smile as big as Texas. <laughs> You are genuine in everything that you do, and you truly want the best for everyone you surround yourself with. You are handsome, hardworking, patient, loyal, and most importantly, God-fearing. Thank you for being my biggest supporter. Thank you for loving me even when I'm a brat. <laughs> and thank you for always apologizing first. I vow to always keep chips and queso on hand at the house for you. I vow to always pick up your dirty laundry, even though the basket is right there. <laughs> and I vow to always be Jose's favorite, even though he was yours first. But most importantly, I vow to listen to you and to always make you feel heard and appreciated. I vow to always stand by your side when things are simple and to stand even closer when they are hard. Thank you for loving me, and I'm so proud of you. I love you too, Moon and Bob. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Elliot, you may kiss your bride. On behalf of the newlyweds, I would like to thank everybody for coming out to such a beautiful event. And uh, if I could say so myself, you all look amazing. And I would also like to thank the parents of the newlyweds for raising such amazing people that I could truly say that I am blessed to be my friends. I still remember the day um, he introduced me to his beautiful bride, Haley. I could see right away that it was something special. And though I may see less of him, it's okay, because I know he's with someone he truly loves. Plus, I'm tired of buying his drinks. <laughs> And if I want to hold up their drinks, they say you don't marry someone you can live with, but you marry someone you can't live without. And for these two, that couldn't be more than true. Yeah. 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 Yeah.